Well, hi, thanks for <coughs> joining me in my shop. I'm going to be going the next step with this uh, receiver. But first, I wanted to take a look at my uh, my test probe in the last video, or one of the two last videos. I started having trouble with my uh, voltmeter. And so this is the probe here. It's in pieces at the moment. I'll just quickly shoot it back together here. Okay, so there, there's my probe. And take the top off. And you see, a little hard to see on video maybe, but there's a metal contact there. And when you, when you rotate the little switch here, you rotate the contact. The contact is selecting, look down in here. When you look down in there, you should see this one of these two little bumps. Each bump is connected to this underneath. You can see one bump goes to this resistor, brown, black, green, that's a mega ohm resistor, or to this continuous wire. So in one setting, the resistor is in the circuit. The other setting, there's nothing there. And what I discovered, if you hadn't figured it out yourself, is the wire broke right here. This wire was soldered on like that just broke off, uh, probably from a little bit of twisting. And probably from me taking this apart previously, just before it stopped working, just to look at it. <clears throat> probably, I don't know how, I must have uh, messed it up. So I'm gonna just gonna solder this guy back together. I'll be back in business with this probe, which I appreciate a lot more now, what is going on in it. I also discovered, uh, you know, just shows you once again, I don't even know my own equipment. So this is the meter the probe was plugged into. You can see the kind of jack on it. Well, look, my other uh, meter that I like to use a lot has the same kind of kind of jack, but it certainly doesn't have. Well, I'll show you. It has these for probes. Nothing shielded anywhere. So these are unshielded probes. <coughs> so it's well worth fixing this up. Uh, it's going to help me a lot. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Good thing I turned the camera on for that. Okay. I think that's all the way down. Understand is how you line this up with the. Uh, I want to bet you that slot fits on something here. are lined up with this piece because of the switch has to rotate you know has to rotate properly on these so that's the trick this sits like this Shell. 
wire. Let's see if it worked. So I should get to zero. Zero on the AC setting. Center post AC zero DC one million. Good show. Got my probe back. Now I know what's going on inside it in complete detail. I learned that the, how the shielding is done, where the resistor is, how the switch works, the whole shot. Never looked inside that probe. Probably had it uh, five, six years, something like that. Picked it up with a bunch of stuff at a yard sale for our next to no money. And uh, didn't really appreciate its significance. But I do now. Fantastic. Okay, so we're back in business with that meter too. Great. Now, let's get the receiver going here so it starts warming up a bit. Turning the wrong knob. Okay. Uh, so tune in some stations first and see how accurate this thing is because if it's accurate enough, I already did this step a couple months ago. If it's accurate enough, we just leave it. And won't even do this stuff. Yeah, that's the thing to do. That is the thing to do. Is this really necessary? That would be the question. Okay. Wires untangled. So there's a station at 89 point something. It'll be right down here. You've been scared of love and what it did to you. You don't have to. Here we are, we're at 93, um, son of a gun, I don't know the frequency. Sounds nice, doesn't it? for FM radio around here. Hang on a sec. Let's see what we've got here. We've got uh, 89, 89.1, and 106. Hey, that's great. Those are at opposite ends of the uh, radio band. 106 point what? 106, 106 point what? Oh, there's 105.9. Just saw it. 105. There we are. 105.9. So 89.1, 105. Who does? Who knows? He's 
these days. <laughs> these days your planning horizon is about 20 minutes into the future. Uh, well, if not 89, who? How about uh, 91, 93.1, located in Barrie, okay, 93.1, fresh radio, let's try that. This is the number... alternative to U.S. universities. The University of Toronto, Ted Sargent, says Canada features prominently on the list. He okay, sees so a surge in applications from America. But it's out of the lower It's a little weak on that station, too, but I suspect that's just antenna alignment because I listen to that station all the time. It's coming in poorly, probably just because the uh, dipole antenna, which is trapped up here. It's probably not aligned. Good for that station. Now, what am I going to do? Am I going to go ahead and s stretch the band down a little bit? It's very accurate at the top. Now, I don't know what stations uh, the owner likes to listen to. The very popular Toronto stations are up at this end. Uh, but there are some stations down here. For instance, there's an 88.1, uh, which is, I think, Ryerson. Ryerson University uh, broadcast uh, interesting uh, jazz programs and stuff down here. But you know, a no, person's not going to have any trouble finding it anyway. So, you know, I run the risk of fiddling around here trying to rearrange this and not getting, you know, not, not getting what I want anyway. So, how bad is it? It's not bad at all. It's quite accurate up here at the high end. So, I think I'm just going to leave that for now because you know what there's more stuff to do anyway and if I'm looking for challenges I'm, I'm sure I don't have to stop here to find them I'll just keep going find some more okay so we'll take a look at the other side here now this is pretty confusing to look at uh, mostly because of the reflection on the uh, panel so the mixer trimmer is located right there. That guy. So what I need to do is I need to fix the focus a little bit here. So I need to tune to a uh, uh, a high end of the receiver here. While the dashboard screams, sing every word of night moves. I want to be a song to kiss you. I'm looking for a station that'll lift the uh, dial pointer. Uh, signal strength indicator up a little bit so then I can adjust and, and see it go up and down. I wouldn't mind trying it with the panel mounted pointer but but I also have this other meter here which you can just get a look at. Okay, so that meter will tell me also when things are tuned in. Okay, so this is the output of the IF here. The same thing that be indicated on the front panel meter. The front panel meter is showing nothing right now. So I'll try to turn that trimmer. Uh, first, I got to keep an eye on this meter as I bring this. I'm going to try a metal screwdriver. 
up to it. Just moving around is causing stuff there. just thought of mm. okay so this this tube is actually up on a tube extension extender and the shield is off of it that's the uh, oscillator tube you can see this coil here is how I was feeding the, uh, the signal generator in earlier and now I should I should put that I should put that back. I should put that tube down, put the cover on it, and whoosh, everything will be untuned. <laughs> what are the chances that's going to happen? How can I how can I verify this? Uh, I think what I'll do. You got a metal in Okay, so I've tuned in my signal generator, in fact, and uh, take a reading on the meter here. Okay, so it's reading five, just about full scale, five volts. Ay, 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 what happened? Okay, so we're going to max this out here. Okay. Now I'm going to shut the set off, put the tube down, turn the set on, see what's happening, put the cover on it, see what's happening in terms of this meter. Uh, this meter, that's right, yeah, that should... That should work. That that, that should <laughs> that should work. Okay. Switch off. Now I'm gonna burn my fingers on that tube. It would just be a mild burn. It'd be too serious. Extender out. It's going to throw off everything I've done. I hope not. Okay, tubes in. We'll switch back on. See if that meter comes up full scale again. Pretty good. Here we are. Uh, tuning to see if there's any more. Nope. And I'll slide the tube shield on. I'll watch the meter there. Well, I can't get all hung up about that. I'm sure the receiver is still working fine. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Uh, I don't think you could see that, but the uh, panel meter here just leaped from halfway to full. There was a tiny click at the same moment. A tiny little click. It's very hard to see these pointers, these backlit pointers with a camera. 
jump from about halfway up. I've seen weird things on this panel meter before. Nothing's upsetting it. Well, you got me. I don't like that. It was not a happy observation at all. Okay, um, and oddly enough, the important observation was this meter didn't move. This one jumped. That, that says a little bit. Ring the bell. Okay. So where are we now? So I want to be up at uh, the high end of the band, adjust the trimmer, start here. Just watching that meter because it does have a little bit of a wave. I think it might be me. I'm walking around a little bit here. Step back, step forward. Yeah, step back. Step forward. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm trying to make sure that my hand effect is not Great, or just above nine. So I can't look at two things at once. It's a gigantic screw. Okay, we're still just above nine, but this little screwdriver is just not up to the job. It's something a little bigger. Okay, now this big honker. Okay, so we're floating just above nine. screwdriver in place. Slightly more of a night. Good enough. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh. Many, many turns here. There we are. That was many, many turns. The signal strength on the front panel meter is way up. Tune the radio now. That was a mile out. Wow, okay, well that really that really gave it a strong boost. Pretty happy about that. Now next one is you know there's another trimmer here. That's well let's let's turn it. Okay, first keep an eye on the meter. No screw driver effect. In you go. Watch it now. Up, up, up. Just a little bit. Okay, going down. 
So there's a peak this moment. That one moved a fair bit too. Okay, great. One more should be, uh, so I've done the antenna trimmer. What did I just do? I just did the antenna trimmer. I don't know what I just did. What to do? Like I started blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm lost here. Let me get myself back on track. I'm just going to pop this up for a sec. I'm looking at the diagram. I want to do the RF trimmer, mixer trimmer. So I did mixer, trimmer, and another one to do here. This would be the RF trimmer. All right, that's that the one I just did, for crying out loud. I don't know anymore. Okay, watching the meter. down a little bit. This guy's not making much difference. He's okay. Signal strength is way up on the, on the front panel meter. So that's two trimmers. I should find a third one here. Third trimmer. three trimmers. Okay, time to do the coil. So we'll go down to the other end of the band now. The, music. the uh, signal strength indicator is way up. Watch it, this meter. There we go. slugs in this thing? I can't, there shouldn't be. No, one slug. Down. Down, so that's good enough. That's doing it there. Pretty much was okay the way it was. That's one coil. Next coil. Mixer coil. This one here. Pretty, pretty much okay also. And one more coil. And then a coil down here. Seems just fine. Let's have one extreme. Slightly unnerving. The signal strength meter is almost at the top. It's almost pinned now on the front. So when I got this receiver, the signal strength meter never never moved. And all it is is just alignment so bad, it wasn't presenting enough signal to the uh, to the meter circuits and the rest of the receiver. Well, I think that's all there is to it. So we had one adjustment that really brought this guy to life. Great, that's great. Um, that's great. 
Let's take a look at what's next on the hit parade here. Muting control. Hello there, kitty. Once again, visited by a cat. Oh, here they come again. The <laughs> dynamic duo coming in here. Seems like they come down right about this time. I've decided they've had enough with me. What is it, guys? They're saying, we want to go in the spare room. Okay, come on. One wants to go in the spare room, the other one wants me to go upstairs again and give him water. Look at him peeking around the corner. Aren't you coming? I thought you were coming. Peanut. Tabby. <laughs> what are these guys doing? What? What's up? So when a cat stands like that, he's waiting. She's waiting for me. To walk on behind her. Oh, distracted. Cats get distracted a lot too. <laughs> yeah. Talking about distracted, that's certainly where I am now. I think they'll be okay. I'll fiddle around in the spare room for a while. Ringing the bell again. Again, what was I doing? What was I doing? Do the muting adjust control. Turn muting switch to in position. Adjust muting control until background noise just disappears. Uh, point of no interference. Scope. Why do you want to hook up the scope? Of no interference, left or right, output on the scope. Turn muting switch, adjust muting control until background noise just disappears. I don't know why we need the scope for that. We can listen to this. It's a muting switch, it's all about listening to it. Okay, let's, let's check out the muting situation now. As soon as I get untangled here. Really? This is what's going to happen now. They're just going to, they're going to haunt me till I deal with them. Buddies. Cats. Felines. Anybody want to come in? No. Because the idea is for me to go out. They, they will not come in. They're watching my feet too. They watch my feet. They look at which way my feet are pointing. It helps them understand if I'm going to step on them or not. <laughs> Frustrations high among those cats. Look at them. And they wander away. They're giving up. Come on, let's go. Uh, we'll see if they give up. Uh, we'll be in here again in a moment. Back, back, back to what? Back to what I'm doing. What am I doing here? White, white spot here. <laughs> Signal meters stuck on the Need it? Oh, fantastic. Now let's see if the muting releases when I hit a station. Too much because they're already a little threadbare, and you they are. You don't want to got, lose your lucky up You've got some areas missing in the crotch. <laughs> so, you know, and where it's become a. So, the instructions said to set the control just enough to mute the noise. Let's 
let's check it out here. Muted right here. So there we there we are. So we hear the noise. Okay, I'd say that that's the point where the noise is completely gone. Think to me now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn my pick there. Okay, you know, right. can't just assign a random turn the muting control back like here. Be a reason why they're lucky. To you. It yeah. needs a backstory. <laughs> Roots were sure a gift from a listener, no doubt. Yeah. Right. Hear how loud it is. I go check. And I'll, I'll turn the muting control until I can just tell I'm knocking out some of the loudness. Most of the lucky, tell us about it on our Facebook page. It's uh, it's 9:29. Fozzie now in the dark. Sorry, Ozzy. I'm going to get a copyright hit from that. Somebody give me another. God damn. I need a talker who's nope. talking. Just Somebody be talking. Here. Weeks ago. Tory writes, "Health affordability crisis from Interim. He is asking the province to subsidize nearly 5,000 new spaces, okay. saying the ratio of subsidies to spaces has been in decline since 2010. There are more than 18,000 children on the city's wait list Quieter. for childcare." More news coming up right here on CBC Radio 1, 99.1 in Toronto. The forecast now for Barrie, periods of snow ending this afternoon, then cloudy with a 60% chance of snow, 2 centimeters expected with a high of minus 2. Tonight cloudy with a 60% chance of snow, a low of minus 4. So the muting effect is gone. Oh no, it's still there. It's just not hard to decide. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'd rather than mute all the hiss. Um, I think it's better to, to preserve the signal strength from the station and, and let a little hiss come through. Uh, just make the muting not quite 100%. Uh, front panel. Now I've noticed the front panel is always indicating something, so that, that's not quite so good either. I was all excited about how strong it had become, but now it's uh, not so good. Um, so that's the muting thing. What's what's next on the parade here? Next one is test point. What, what am I doing here? Left and right audio. It doesn't actually say what this test is. Anyway, two point five microvolts output. HFM in t sensitivity 2.5 microvolts for 3% total. Yeah, I can't do this, I don't think. Step 11 is overall sensitivity check requires the distortion analyzer FM signal generator the attenuator. I can't do this with any kind of accuracy. Just tuning stations and listening to them is enough to let me know this is working well. Good. So from here, now I think we're getting into the uh, stereo side of things and setting up the multiplexer and all that stuff. So I think that's for another day. Okay, hey, I think that's pretty good so far. I think uh, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at now. Let's take a run. We'll take a run. 
Okay, let's take a run through the yeah, station. Smash everything, smash it all. Take a run through here. See what we're getting. See how the now the meter here, which you can't see very well. There it is. It's always up. It's always high. It's another a new problem. Okay, starting at the top. Muting is in. Again. Save the day. Superman got nothing on me. I'm only one. The weight loss site ever created. Just text DEAL to 39 and get started for free right now. Again, text DEAL to 393939. Message and data may apply. Membership fees. Now open. Come see the brand new facility with a huge. In That's a local oscillator of the other radio in my shop here. Carefully. Because the way of the wicked will lead you astray. I remember uh, I was very... The way of the wicked. Signal generator. Um, Donc ce groupe-là a été formé officiellement en 1982 par un noyau dur de trois musiciens maliens. Mm. Yuck. A high temperature plus one. Windy flurries or snow squalls. Wind state high temperature near minus two. Minus ten outside our studios here in Aurelia. And if you're looking for a way to uh, make some memories with the kids or the grandkids, a free family fishing weekend coming up. Uh, well, it's coming up the family day weekend, basically, isn't it? It's going to yeah. kick off on the Friday. It'll run right through till the Monday. That's right? right. February 18th to the 20th. License free Ontario family fishing weekend. And it's for... Uh, Ontario for Canadian residents right across Canada. Local fishing events. There are some festivals and derbies going on. And uh, it's a great opportunity to get out, get active. Yep. And all my memories growing up as a child I have a lot to do with fishing. Oh, mine too. All year round too. And not Ice only fishing? as a kid, like I mean, my memories like teaching my nephews and, and, yeah. and you know, Rebecca and everybody how to fish and mm -hmm. you know, watching the a smile on their face first time they catch something. Yeah, and there's something about getting a fish on it the is. line. It is. I mean, it is. It's a lot of fun. And anybody who doesn't fish is saying, well, you know, I don't fish very much. Has never caught a fish. No, exactly. Right? Exactly. They've never had the thrill of never feeling Never had that. the thrill of feeling something on the line. And no. Nope. No, it's a great thrill. And it's a great way to get out. And uh, instead of spending all that money on all those licenses to get out and just to see... If, if the like kids it. like it or if yeah. you like it, you know what I mean? And start them young. Yep. I mean, I was like five the very first time someone put a little mini fishing rod in my hand. And I still, I'm still, i still doing it today. It's one of my favorite things to do. So try and get out there and uh, take uh, advantage of license-free Ontario Family Fishing Weekend, February 18th to the 20th. And you know, pretty soon on the morning show, we're going to be talking about... Uh, family Fishing Weekend in February. That means you've got to go out and cut some holes in the ice or something. Uh, so, interesting thing I noticed, uh, when I, this is a very strong signal, and this is very local station, it's right here in Aurelia. Uh, when I turn this on to stereo, noise comes in, that suggests to me that there's some alignment issues uh, uh, further into the radio, uh, in the stereo decoder, which I'm probably going to get to next. But when you flip it back to mono, it takes about three seconds for the clear mono sound to come out again. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Here. Can't, can't do it with music. I can let about 10 seconds of music go on. Like to check and respond to condition 100 times per second. Right now, you can get 0% purchase financing on select new models and a winter tire credit. Plus, make no payments for 90 days on purchase financing offers on all new Mazda models. Hurry, offers end February 28th. Visit a Mazda dealer or Mazda.ca for full details. 
I'm Enzo Garitano, President and CEO of IHSA, reminding all employers with workers on construction projects who use a travel restraint or fall arrest system to ensure they complete a Working at Heights training program approved by the Chief Prevention Officer before the April 1st, 2017 deadline. IHSA is Ontario's leading provider of approved Working at Heights training and will facilitate any of your training needs directly or through one of our partners. One of the claims this uh, receiver has is that the switching uh, back and forth between stereo and mono is done electronically, it's not done mechanically, or I don't know how you do it mechanically myself. I don't really know what they're talking about in detail, but I think that's what we're hearing is it's taking three seconds for it to relax from stereo operation back into mono operation. A little harder to hear the effect on the stronger signal. The weaker signal was a lot more distinct. So, and I believe I believe there was a delay on the mute, on the muting, similar to that. Okay, not to worry about it. We got to get through all the alignment stuff, and then really see how this guy performs, because it could be as I complete more alignment steps, some of these weirdy weirdy things will go away. Maybe be replaced by new weirdy things. Anyway, great. I think that went uh, really well. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll be back in here later today or tomorrow doing the next uh, steps. Thanks for watching.